Hi everybody and welcome to this tutorial and we are going to draw a magnificent animal it's the snow owl and what I did is I made a print with some helper lines but the shape is very easy for this one now what I'm going to use are my standard color pencils and this is bio oil I just had it in the cupboard and I'm using a brush and this oil but of course there are also possibilities with baby oil or something and this is the effect that I want to show you it is amazing so I simply take a little bit of baby oil to demonstrate I'll put it up close here and I'm going to blend in the pigments with that brush and oil and blend them together and show you what that does now what you really need to use is watercolor paper because this will absorb the oil so do not use a very thin paper and you can also use this technique to make some bouquet effects I will demonstrate this too and this is what we're going to use so let's get started now here you see the setup and it was uh, the most um, well easy kind of owl that I could find and you can find this print on my patreon page of course so you can print that out and use that for study purposes I will put our example in the right top so you can uh, track it along and as you can see I took this uh, very easy setup for an owl the left eye is totally uh, in the picture here but the right eye is covered in those feathers and you can just see the tip of the eyeball now what I'm doing for the setup is using my darkest brown pencil so not the black one but dark brown and this has the purpose that I will reserve the color black for the pupil itself and the beak of the owl and a little bit for the tip of the feathers so the complete setup is with dark brown my color pencils here are by Koinor but any kind of color pencil will do the trick as you can see I try to draw as good as possible uh, in the way that the feathers are growing and here for the eye I will zoom in for you extra you can see a little bit of an eyelid around the eye and now I have to sharpen my pencil so make sure that your par pencil is, is a very very sharp indeed and what I do next is color in the shadow on the right side of that eye then I put in the pu pupil and this is very important this is the little area that is the shine up on the eye and I will have to draw around it so I'm sparing out that little dot of light and of course the right eye is just a shimmering dark dot there and I want in this drawing that all the attention goes to that one eye now the beak itself appears in between the feathers so that's a tricky part those feathers and that that little beak coming out so I pay close attention to the example in the right top and here for the lower part of the body I try to draw in some of those tips because uh, the snow owl of course is a white animal but he does have uh, black feathers in between 
what you also can do is when you want to draw this owl along with me then uh, watch it on the computer as big as you can and then glance through the eyelashes so uh, tighten up your eyes and look through the eyelashes and then look for the lightest parts and the darkest parts in that owl in the right top now what you will notice is that on top of the head there is the much white and as you move on lower to the rest of the owl body then there is a lot of shadow so the bottom part of this owl is completely covered in shadow as you can see I keep trying to draw in the direction of uh, where the feathers how the feathers are growing and once you have your setup ready with the dark brown then it is time to shift to your darkest blue now dark blue is a magnificent shadow color for white feathers and of course I also use it to render in the shadow part uh, underneath the beak the beak itself and the lower part of the body you can see that um, the watercolor paper that I'm using is the smoothest paper that I could find and this will take up the pigments of your color pencils quite easily okay then it's time to put in some little details here and there and now I'm putting in the layer of yellow it's not my brightest yellow it's my second brightest yellow and what I do first now is I put in the bouquet background now of course you can do this with color pencils but Pampastel is much quicker and this is uh, a green tint 26208 is the color number and um, furthermore I'm using a very very soft orange tint and these together uh, I wanted to put that in oh and here is a little blob of oil but I will work that away no problem and the blue and that uh, soft orange together I put in to make the color of the eye pop out now the bouquet effect is very very nice and a lot of photographers use that to uh, give some form of depth behind uh, a, a subject now I did not use this ever so I have to practice and here I'm clearing out that blob <laughs> and this is my um, Koinor pencil eraser so I'm using that too for uh, making those rounded balls and in this way creating that really really soft bouquet effect now I have to do this first before I can continue to draw in that eye I need to know what color my background will be and then uh, work on further into that eye so here is the bio oil and now it's time to start blending
This brush is a brush which uh, pops very easily back in its shape. So it's quite sturdy, but yet very soft. And, and that is ideal for the very fine uh, detail that I want to draw in. And here in the eye, and you can see that the colors are blending magnificently. This is so much easier than a blender stick would be. And this smooth out the oil just picks up the pigments and then you can, well, kind of draw like a painter if you like. But I love what it does for the colors. The colors just come alive and that is exactly why I was picking up my drawing pencils, my color pencils again. Because I'm not much of a color pencil person. But now that I am trying out this technique with the oil I had in my cupboard, I started to love it. So I will be practicing more with this. This is my first try ever, so it's not that great, but still I just wanted to show you how magnificently the colors pop to life when using a little bit of oil. Now you can also go back in there with your color pencils and just see how much shine that brings you. And you can also still erase it a little bit, pick up the pigments a little bit. And here is the black color pencil. Now, and that is why I spared out the black till last, because I really need that black for that pupil and those little detail on the eye and on the beak and just a little bit of black for the tip of the feathers and just look how that blends together it is amazing it is like the eye is coming alive here is the beak a little bit of black also for the harsh line uh, it's like a smile on his face isn't it and these are the tips of the feathers that I wanted to make black. So that is where I was saving my black pencil for. Now of course you can uh, watch this complete process on my Patreon page. Where I upload everything in real time. And you can download uh, prints, you can get extra tips. And here I'm adding a little bit of more darker brown. And I just love the effect of oil and color pencils. Now this is getting quite realistic. It's not yet that realistic as I want it to be. I need to practice more. But I don't mind. I just love this technique. And I hope you will give this a try too. Either you uh, buy the, uh, well, the real blending oil, of course, that is, but maybe you have a little bit of baby oil in the cupboard. And then you can start giving this a try without running to the shop or buying something online. That's not... Uh, directly necessary of course so that's a great tip for you now a little bit of more bokeh effects and i love the pan pastels for that and also the way that the pan pastels work together with the color pencils so that's remarkable too i didn't know that either and just by trying out things uh well Sometimes you get the most stunning effects. I wish you all the luck with it 
And if you like this video, I hope you will give it a big thumbs up. And I will see you again, of course, next week with another tutorial, maybe somewhat extra oil. <laughs> Take care. Till then. Bye-bye.